from hell. Look at this ball, man. It's fucking big news. I'm gonna buy a ball and bring it here for the community. <laughs> Maybe you should change your profession. God damn it, Chris Jones. Why do why you play basketball? I mean, I'm, I'm a short motherfucker, but damn, you know? When you're this accurate, you get to do something. Oh, I'm just hitting from back here. Oh my goodness, stop it! Stop it, Chris Jones! You know who it is. Chris Jones. Represent physics of greatness. Now, I'm not. You know what? Let me get a little water. I'll be right back. Don't move. <laughs> hey, drink some more water. All right, guys. I'm back, man. It's hot ish. Oh. Anyway, I want to give y'all a quick trap routine, guys. Now, I'm not sure about how many of you guys watch me on my other channel, Beach Mode Training Camp. I highly recommend you subscribe. All right? But anyway, I got a show called Axe Beast Mode. It's kind of like Axe POG, but it's my shit. And pretty much some guy asked me, what can he do to get bigger traps? You know, he has a real bad back, and he can't really do heavy ass shrugs. So I told him to increase his intensity. He don't necessarily have to go real heavy. Just increase his intensity, and he'll be just fine. So I figured, why not give y'all a real intense trap routine? Okay? So let's go ahead and get straight to it. Now, first and foremost, you're going to need dumbbells, okay? One of the reasons why I like using dumbbells is because you're able to use each arm independently. Now, if you have a muscular imbalance, obviously, if you're shrugging heavy weight and this arm is stronger than the other, this is going to get more attention. Now, before we start, let me make, make one thing clear. When you do shrugs, you don't want to keep your head straight. You want to keep your head in a neutral position, lean your head just a little bit forward. Let me explain why. Now come on in, baby. When you, now look at this, my head is straight, right? Now look at my shit. I got my shoulders as high as I can get them. Get my hand. My shoulders is as high as I can get them. Now look, head lean forward, bam. See, I got a little more range of motion. A little more range of motion just from leaning my head slightly forward. So you want to keep your head in the neutral position, lean your head slightly forward, that way you get a little more range of motion. See, the trap movement already has a very short range of motion. You don't want to make it any shorter than you need to. You want to get as much range of motion as possible, okay? You're gonna notice I'm wearing some red lifting straps. Those are coming very soon on pumpchasers.com. Be sure to follow pompchasers.com on Instagram for updates. I got black ones and red ones coming. We got wrist wraps. We got everything you need to keep you safe in that gym. Okay, so check it out. What you're going to do is start with some light weights. I just start with about 55 pounds and I go high rep. I go about 20 reps to get a real good pump in my traps. Use good form coming all the way down. And when you come down, make sure you stop at the bottom. Don't just do this right here. Don't just shrug up and down. Come down, pause, then come back up. That's gonna recruit the traps and give it maximum tension. Okay, so come down, stop, go up. Okay, now, if you're watching this homie from the uh, Ash Beach Mo show, if you have a bad back and you can't stand up, you can do them sitting down. Look on the screen, see? You can do this shit just as good sitting down. Just make sure you're sitting at the edge of the seat, keep your feet close together, and shrug up and down the same way you would standing up. Obviously, standing up, you can use a little more weight though. Okay, so anyway, I start with 55 pounds. Now what you're gonna wanna do is, pick a weight that you can do for about 20 reps, and after each set, add about 10 to 15 pounds. So what I did was, I went from 55 pounds 
to 65 pounds, right? And I went many that I can do, which is about 15 to 20 reps. Then I went from 65 pounds to 75 pounds. Then I went from 75 pounds to 85 pounds. Again, shrugging up and down, right? Taking it to failure. Then I jumped it up to 100 pounds. Did as many as I can do, which was about eight to 10 reps. And on the very last set, guys, you want to do drop sets. So I went from 100 pounds down to about 60 pounds. And then I went down to about 45 pounds and I ripped that shit out. So what you want to do is, start with a weight you can do it for about 20 reps. And then you're going to do five sets. Each set, you go up in weight. Do not break form. And what I mean by break form, if you can't do 100 pounds with good form, that's too heavy. You want to go as heavy as you can possibly go, but still following the rules. Pausing at the bottom, squeezing at the top. If you cannot pause at the bottom and squeeze at the top, then you're going too heavy. All right, so after we did the pyramid sets of our shrugs, what we're going to do is we're going to go to upright rows with a little bit of twist. I call this the upright row remix. I've been doing this for the past five months, and I absolutely love it. What you're going to do is go to the cable station, all right? Grab it with a shoulder width grip. And what you're going to do is lean your head slightly forward, like I just told you to do, and shrug up and down like you're doing barbell shrugs. Pause at the bottom, squeeze the top. Get you about 10 reps. So you need to go, go heavy enough to where you can get 10 challenging reps. And then as soon as you get those 10 reps, what you're going to do is go straight into upright rows. So you're going to go 10 shrugs, and then you're going to go 10 upright rows. Or whatever you can get. As long as you can get at least 6, that's fine. But I want you to get 10 shrugs, 10 upright rows. That's only one set. So let's go back. We're going to do dumbbell shrugs, pyramid style. Start with 20 reps, pyramid up to a heavy ass weight, and then do a triple drop set at the end. Then, you're gonna do upright rows remix. Four sets of that, all right? I want you guys to try this shit at home. Comment below, let me know what you think. Tag me on Instagram, let me know what you think. I wanna hear your feedback. Don't forget, pumpchasers.com. Support the brand, this brand is for you. And thank you very much to everybody that's supporting me, man. The brand's only been up for about two weeks, and we're already doing crazy numbers. I got so many good things coming for y'all. So anyway, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, I'll back at your boy.